Hi people, this is Angel from PRGB Entertainment. Welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 complete tutorial. On this tutorial, I will teach you guys how you can create an explosive object so the player character can take damage. And also, I will teach you guys how you can create a pickup item like a uh, can of beans, uh, apple, something like that, so we can increase the health and the energy. So first of all, let's create our explosive object in our item. So I'm going to create a blueprint. It's going to be an actor. It's going to be explosive object I'm gonna get inside here I'm gonna create a collision it's gonna be a box and now I'm gonna add a static mesh now I'm gonna find my cube I'm gonna put a cube here for the shape I'm gonna resize this because uh, it's big and now I'm gonna add the gold material there we go. So now let's get inside our mm -hmm, our event graph. Now on our event graph, let's do it. The big and play, the event tick. Let's create a function. And this function is going to be player takes damage. I'm just going to drag this out. I'm going to put it right here. Now let's get inside our player takes damage function. Oh, we are inside. Okay. Let me drag this over here on the overlap. Has to be on the overlap. Remember that. So now let's cast this to our third person character. Let's get the player character. So we can get the variables. Now let's get the total health. My float minus float. We're going to tell him that he's going to take 75% every time he overlaps with the object. And let's set total health. With the results that he gets from that extraction. Okay, compile. Let's put the explosive item on the, op on the scene here. Explosive object. Now let's get near to it. There we go. So it takes 75%. And he's dead. So let's try to make something that says that he is dead. So let's go to our to our HUD. Primary HUD is the one that has the energy and the health. Let's go to our graph. And here I'm just gonna tell him I'm gonna compare here. So if it's minus or equal to zero then print text this is just something to let us know that he's already dead you are so dead there we go let's test this out okay 75 one more and the character is dead okay so there we got our explosive uh, whatever you want to call it something that makes the the character take damage so now let's create a health, a health item maybe it could be an apple or something like that or a can of beans like I said so I'm gonna create a new item for this one it's gonna be an actor Let's put here can of beans. There we go. So let's get inside. Let's add the collision. The collision could be um, a sphere. Wow. That's bad. <laughs> let's add the mesh. It's gonna be a static mesh. And let's say what we got here. Let's see what we have. Let's see, let's see. What type of shape? Oh, the cylinder. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Let me check this out. It's in the metal. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm gonna use the gold material also for this one. 
There we go. Let's get inside our event graph. Delete the begin play. Delete the event tick. Let's create a function with this one. It's going to be add health to player. Same thing, we need to cast this to our third person character or the character that you are using. Get player character. Let's get here total health. Now it's going to be plus, plus, it's going to be plus. Float plus float. Let's say maybe it's going to increase only 15%. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, if it's more than 100 or equal, that's what we're going to say here. So let's say that the result, the one that we are dragging right now, if it's 100 or more than this, if it's equal or more, then let's add a branch so we can get two different options so let's connect this with a branch here on the condition so if it's true that it's a hundred or more then we are going to set the total health to a hundred only there we go let's connect this one with that cast a player cast a character And if it's false, set the total health to the results that it gets on the health. There we go. So every time it adds 15, it gets a result. It will compare if it's 100 or more, then he will put the health, total health only in 100. If not, it will give the result to the total health and it will be presented on the progress bar. So, let's hit the play and we need to put the can on. Oh, we need to add the function to the overlap. Now, let's put the can in the scene here. There we go. So, boom, he takes damage, boom, you are dead. And he's supposed to increase here. I'm not sure why he's not doing that, let me see. Only one, there we go. Okay, so there's something that we need to work with. He's increasing, he's increasing. So now he is in 100%. So we get damage again you can see he takes the same amount 75 percent there we go well i think that should be all it's really simple objects and items for health uh also we can do this oh let me let me add it also for the end well well i'm not gonna do it you guys can do it it's the same thing for can of beans here the total health to add health you can do the same thing for the energy except you can from the energy you can put a different amount if you want you can do it right here so you just need to get the total energy and let's say that we want to add uh, maybe five Let's connect this to here. Oh, my bad. So we need to create another one. It's 100. Let's add another branch. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. So let's add it here. Let's add it here. Yeah. It's the closer one. So we're going to tell them to set our set total energy if it's true he's gonna put it on a hundred only let's get a total energy once again set total energy and if it's false he's just gonna get the result from here There we go. Let's try it up. Okay. There we go. So it starts to increase both. There we go. Well, guys, this is Ninja from PRGB Entertainment. Hope you guys liked this tutorial. Hit the like button, write a comment. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe.